Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the Facebook business manager. And so when it comes to running Facebook ads and, and Instagram ads, there, there's 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 three ways that that you can you can technically run run an ad right Facebook Instagram there's three ways one way is where you where you post on your business page like your Facebook business page you just put up a you know a normal post and you can boost it so one way of running an ad is boosting the post um, the second way is where you simply come back here and you run it through the ads manager okay these are these are pretty much the two popular ways that that most amateurs run a Facebook ad, an Instagram ad or a Facebook ad. They'll just simply run it one of those two ways. They'll boost it or they'll come right here into the quote unquote ads manager and, and they'll do it that way. The problem with these two ways is that you don't get any of the tracking. Now you can you you can't capture any of the tracking, I should say. So so a form of tracking are all these different columns delivery, bid strategy, budget, attribution setting, results, reach, impressions, cost per result. You see all those columns right here from left to right. Yeah, that's that that's tracking. But what you're not able to do through this boost in a post and through just simply running it through here through the ads manager is you're not able to to capture and keep any of that data. And the reason why you want to and need to capture that data is to be able to put that data aside, collect the data and run future ads to them again. So, for example, when you watch a video like like let me let me let me say let me try to explain it this way. You ever you ever go online any random website, you're on there freaking looking at shoes, you're on there looking at freaking hats, whatever. You go to any random website and then and then you check out that red cap. You're about to buy that Houston freaking hat, that freaking um, you're about to you're about to buy that that cap or whatever. You leave that website and then all of a sudden you see an ad from that company. Mm -hmm. You ever you ever experienced that? Like you ever Yeah, they're like, hey, you left some stuff in the car, right? Right. It. right? We're almost right. sold out. All that is is tracking. So the so whatever company that 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 was is they were able to capture your data, not name and number and private information. It's not that. It's just simply cooking you, tracking the fact that you landed on this website. I got four caps. I got four hats. I got the green one, the red, the black, and the freaking blue. You clicked on the black. I tracked that specific link. I turned around and I showed you another ad. Hey guys, we noticed you were looking at that black Houston cap, but for whatever reason you didn't purchase, we want to offer you 10% if you click and check out now, right? Because they tracked the visit. They tracked the fact that you landed on that website. Right. That cannot happen. And that does not happen through boost in the post or the ads manager. It happens through setting up the business manager, yeah. which it looks just like this, but it's just, it's just actually setting up a few, a few different parts of this part that, that 99% of people don't do. Um, and, 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 and for that, their ads are never successful. They're never, they're never able to scale their ads. Their ads get rejected and, and, and they just, and they just flop because they never set up the back end. 99% of social media marketing, running ads on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, freaking TikTok, whatever. 99% of, 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 of social media advertising is about tracking the visit. Mm -hmm. And that can only happen through the business manager. And so from this point on, we're going to be running ads through the business manager so we can create custom audiences, so we can create lookalike audiences, which is what Robbie teaches in the course, um, so we can integrate our domain. So when you go out there and get your own freaking Jason J Jason's products .com or whatever, you can now integrate it with Facebook and say, hey, Facebook, this is the domain that I'm running Instagram ads on. This is the, the domain that I'm running Facebook ads on. Track this domain. Now Facebook can actually track it. Now you can get. Now you have access to your pixel. So now you can put the the pixel code on your website to start tracking the visit. So all this extra, all the extra benefits and and advantages that we have as as running ads successfully, it's all done to the business manager. Mm -hmm. So so the business manager is the third way. Boosting the post number one, ads manager number two. The third way is the business manager. Cancel out boosting and ads. We're only going to run ads from this point on out of the business manager. Every successful advertiser, Instagram, Facebook runs it out of the business manager. And again, it's because you could track everything and retarget these people in the future. Now, look at me. I'm a rookie doing all the all these yeah. boosting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you boosted posts, right? Yep. You boosted yeah. these posts. Um, not not knowing, and, and that's the thing too. I mean, Facebook doesn't like just shoot you an email and say, "Hey, Jay, freaking don't do it this way, do it that way." Like they don't even freaking like. I got a call set up because I have a I have a rep because I run a lot of ads. I've been running ads forever, well not forever since 2017, and yeah. so I have a I have a Facebook rep now. So now I'm able to schedule calls and and jump on on screen shares with an actual Facebook representative. Wow. I, got, I got a call with them. I got a call with one tomorrow. 
And so, um, and so this is kind of where I learned it all from is, is just, is, is coaches that I hire for, for learning this stuff, but then also speaking to Facebook directly. So, so yeah, I mean, it's not like they even teach you, like, unless you, unless you really start spending money, then you'll have these calls, but, Mm -hmm. but the average person, they don't know any better. And yeah. so right here, yeah, you just didn't know any better. You just, you know, you I just, thought I was doing something to be honest with you. I was like, oh yeah. shit, I'm boosting this shit. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> right. And then, and then when you look at the result column, that it's all about the result. I didn't see nothing. Yeah, I don't there see ain't it. nothing there, right? So, so we just ran in the wrong way, and that's why a lot of people, a lot of times, people think that they could just that they know how to run an ad. Like that's what I do, right? I I, I have I, I I teach I teach people how to run Facebook ads, and and many many times. They, they'll tell me like before they become a client they'll say yeah david i ran an ad i know how to run an ad blah 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 it's like it's like yeah okay anybody can click the damn button right but, but did you really run it the right way and in right. nine or ten times that person's always saying well i didn't get anything from it i didn't capture any leads i didn't make any sales yeah because none of this shit was set up you didn't right. set up the business manager mm-hmm. it's that simple you didn't set up the business manager none of the shit was tracked you're not able to retarget anybody and you're just running a cold ad every time. That's what these are. These are like if you just na- if you just label them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every single ad is a cold ad going to a cold audience. Mm-hmm. It should only be the first few ads. So if you look at the if you if we start at the top, we got well, yeah. Go to the top. so 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 other than the, the the button that's shaded gray, let's start at the blue dot. Post post. Thank you for allowing us to satisfy. Post the people the people have spoken. That right there. Those first three should have been the only ones that were maybe going out to a cold audience. Mm. After that, the business manager allows you to track those three ads, track the data, track the ones that clicked on the ad, track the ones that went to the website but didn't purchase, track the ones who watched your video but didn't click. Those three ads are meant for that, is to is to build the audience. Once we have the data from the first three, then on number four, which is 611, 56, 1014, 77, from that point on, we're now just retargeting the people who engage with the first three. We learned about these. Oh, okay. That's when you now start targeting a warm audience because when we ran those first three, those people saw us for the first time. Mm-hmm. Now we're running the next three. We're retargeting those who saw us before. Now they're seeing us a second time. As we get to the third set, seven, seven, ongoing send message promotion, post, new flavor alert. As we get to this set of three, now we're retargeting everyone from set two and set one. Uh, Now people from set one, they're like, damn, I've seen this guy before. (laughs) What's he he really talking about now? uh, Right. So so it's all about the data, collecting the data. And again, you can only do that through through the business manager. And that's what it's truly all about at the end. It's about the data. It's about, it's about retargeting those who have engaged with your post before. That's it. Bottom line. Um, um, and, and what's so cool though, and, and, and that's why the, 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 the commission hero course really like prior to me purchasing it, I somewhat, I, I knew, I knew about Facebook ads. Like I already had coaches. I was, I've already been running ads for a year, for, for a few years prior, but then when I purchased it, it actually was a game changer for me. Like I learned some Facebook ad shit in it and that's in the six week, the six week to success module that I, that I, that I told you right now. Mm-hmm. So, so go through that later on, but the way he does it is he doesn't even he doesn't even track any of the data, so so which is super powerful and, and super and, and it's super effective, where he's not even he's not even retargeting. He kind of he, it's all about lookalike audiences at the end. And again, that's a, that's another reason why you need to set up the business manager is because at the end of the day, what what he's teaching and what he's doing is game changing. Where you're only targeting, put it this way, all these blue dots. Just imagine this. All these blue dots right here. Imagine we had, let's just call it, let's just call it, let's just call it, mm, let's just call it a hundred, a hundred, let's call it, let's call it, let's call it 50. Mm-hmm. Let's call it 50. We got from the, from the word post all the way down to post, say it louder than the people. Imagine all this. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We got 12. Imagine this. And this is what this is this is what he teaches. This is, how, this is how I'm trying to explain it. We got 12 ads right here. Imagine if the 12 ads all brought in, let's just say, let's just say, let's just say 10 cells each. Let's say we were actually selling something, right? The 12 ads brought in 10 cells each. So I ran 10, I ran 12 ads and I got 120 cells. Wow. Right? No, just, I just want you to imagine this. 
we 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 got we got these 12 ads right here. We we got 10 cells from each ad. We got 120 cells. 12 ads times 10, 120 cells. Wow. Now that I have 120 cells, that's the data I needed. So again, this is only been done. This can only be done through the business manager, but this is what he teaches in the course, which was completely game changer. And it was, it was worth every penny. I learned this one trick from him mm -hmm. and it was worth the entire thousand dollar investment for me. Wow. The one trick was the fact that what he teaches is he teaches, okay, we have 120 cells here. Now what you're able to do with Facebook, this is a Facebook thing. Mm -hmm. Now what you're able to do with Facebook. And again, you can only do this with the business manager. You can't do it by boosting or or just run it through the ads manager. You have to set up the actual business manager. And again, that's what we're going to do today. But I'm just trying to explain how important it is. I'm trying to yeah. give you some context here. Cool. Now we have 120 cells. What he teaches in the course is he said he he teaches lookalike audiences. He teaches, okay, now that we have 120 cells on the books, like we have a factual 120 cell book. Like we 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 have 120 20 units sold. Mm -hmm. Now what Facebook allows you to do is Facebook allows you to say, okay, or we're able to tell Facebook, okay, Facebook, here's 120 cells. These are 120 people that actually purchased my product. Now what I want you to do, Facebook, is I want you to go find me hundreds of thousands of more. I want you to find me millions. I want you to find me millions of people more that resemble my 120. Mm. So, so, so that might be kind of hard to, 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 to really understand, but, but, but imagine it this way, imagine it this way. Let's say, for example, let's say, for example, let's say, let's just call it your wife, my wife, your wife, whatever. Let's just say, let's say your wife, your wife had, had an online business. Mm -hmm. Let's say your wife had an online business. And I already know you and I are, are, are very similar. You and I probably like the same shit. Like mm -hmm. you're out there in Texas, I'm out here in Cali, but we probably like the same shit when it comes to a lot of different shit. Mm -hmm. I already, I already can assume that. Imagine, mm -hmm. imagine this: your wife has an online business. She's selling hats, mm -hmm. right? She's selling hats, and and she's and and you guys are in Texas, right? She has an online business, and she's selling hats. Mm -hmm. Every hat, every 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 MLB, every NBA, every football hat you can possibly want. She got an online store. Yeah. Let's say, for example, she's running ads to California. That's where I'm at, right? She runs ads to California and I purchased one just mm -hmm. randomly. Saw it online, saw a Facebook ad, boom, click, purchased a freaking San Diego hat, whatever, right? Fitted hat, new era. Yeah. Now she has the data. Now she has the fat. Now she has the cell. Now she has, now she has the data. Mm -hmm. Now what she's able, and let's say, for example, she did that 120 times. Mm -hmm. So she had 120 orders by running an ad to California. And let's say that was her grand opening. She just wanted to open up her, her online store and she just wanted to, to advertise to California because California, for whatever reason, she thought bought more hats, whatever. Let's just hypothetically freaking imagine it. Yeah. She runs an ad to California. I buy the hat. Now she's like, okay, I got 120 units sold. I now have this data. I now, I'm, I'm now able to track it. I'm now able to give it to Facebook. In fact, Facebook already has it because I, I read it was, it happened from an ad. It wasn't 120 people that bought an, a hat from me at the mall. It was 120 people that actually bought from an actual Facebook ad. So mm -hmm. Facebook already has the data. We have 120 units sold. Now she's saying, okay, this shit's successful. What I want to do now is I want to target Texas. And so what she's able to do now through the business manager, and this is what Robbie teaches in the course, a lookalike audience. What she's able to tell Facebook now is say, hey, Facebook, I got, a 20, I got 120 units sold. Now I'm going to target Texas. What I needed to do, Facebook, is I need you to take my 120 people and go find me 500,000 more people that look just like them, mm. that have the same buying, buying habits, that are probably the same age, that, are, that fit the same demographics, that like the same shit, that are buying the same shit online, that are clicking on the same websites, that are watching the same shit. Mm. Go and find me hundreds of thousands of more people that look just like the first initial 120. Now I'm going to run the ad of Texas and Facebook can now I'm going to leverage Facebook and now Facebook is going to go find me the Jasons.
Mm. So I no longer need to stress on the targeting. I know I don't have to freaking put in age or demographics or, or these people are interested in baseball. These people are interested in football. I don't got to do shit. I'm letting Facebook do all the heavy lifting because they're basing the targeting off of my initial 120. That's crazy. So what, what, what's, the, shit. what's the qualifier to you like to be able to unlock that secret? Code? So very good question. Very good question. So in the course, what he teaches he teaches you to reach out to whatever product you're you're going to be whatever whatever product you're going to be offering. Like for example, let me stop share. Let me share my screen now. Okay. So let's say for example, in here, um, where are the products? Right here. So these are a few of the top selling products that he that he recommends. Right. Easy battery, Ted's uh, woodworking, resurge, man, 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 manifestation, magic. These are the few products that, that he highly recommends. And you can go into ClickBank and find any 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 product and, and, and same principles that were taught here apply. Mm -hmm. But he's just he's just recommending a few that been 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 high sellers for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. What he what he teaches in the course is he teaches you how to reach out to Easy Battery. And the messaging is very simple. And every single vendor, that's what these people are called, vendors, the the, the owner of the product, every single one of them, this is normal procedure. So they're already waiting for our email. They're already waiting for Jason to email them. Mm. What he teaches is he teaches to reach out to these to these vendors with, and pick one. He doesn't recommend going out, going and promoting all these. He's, he, he recommends picking one. Pick one. Just rock with one. Go with one. That's it. All you need is one. These are all proven products. They've been selling forever. People make a shitload. Pick one. Okay? So let's say, for example, we go with Easy Battery. In the course, you're going to learn where he teaches you how to reach out to them. Hey, Easy Battery, this is Jason. Hey, I just partnered with Commission Hero and Robbie. I'm getting ready to run some Facebook ads. What I am requesting is a hashed customer list. What I am requesting, Easy Battery, is a list of your previous customers. Mm. Easy Battery replies back, no problem, Jason. We'll send it right over. What? What, what Easy Battery ends up doing in every vendor, every company on ClickBank, what Easy Battery ends up doing is they – end up emailing you a list of thousands of their previous customers. Wow. Name, email, phone number, all this shit. But it's not in normal verbiage. It's not in normal text. It's what we call, quote unquote, hashed. So I'm going to give you the list, but the list, Easy Battery is saying, okay, Jay, I'm going to give you the list, but the list is encrypted. You can't read the names. You cannot read the emails. You can't read the phone numbers. But when it comes to computer code, the computer can. So what Easy Battery sends you is what we call a quote unquote hashed list. That hashed list is customers that they already have. You then take that hashed list. You you upload it to Facebook into into what Facebook calls custom audiences, which is right over here. Wow. So you upload that hashed list of previous customers that already bought easy battery you upload it to facebook as a custom audience wow. once i have the custom audience i then if we're not done yet i then turn it into a look-alike audience mm -hmm. and now facebook has this data of thousands of customers in my custom audience i don't want to target them I want Facebook to turn it into a lookalike because those are people that already bought. So I don't want to target them. They're already it's 10,000 people that have already bought Easy Battery. So that's not who I'm looking to target. What I want to do is just simply create the audience of those 10,000 and I'm going to take it a step further, check the box. I'm going to click these three dots and I'm going to create a lookalike. Mm. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Facebook, hey, man, here's 10,000 people that have bought this product. Go and find me 3 million more people that resemble them. That's crazy. So now as I go set up my ad tomorrow, all I'm doing, I ain't targeting freaking people interested in this age group, gender. I ain't targeting none of that shit in my ad. All I'm targeting are my lookalike audiences. Wow. And that's freaking gangster, bro. Like that's how, so when you hear about anybody, any guru you're following, any freaking, any, any hot, hot, high earner, any freaking marketer, any, anyone you're following, bro, on when it comes to internet marketing and making money online, mm -hmm. if they're running Facebook ads or Instagram ads and they're successful, mm -hmm. that's all they're targeting. They're targeting 
look like audiences. That's crazy. So, so, so all these people that you could buy a course from, right? Like er- everyone's selling a course and there's many, many legitimate ones and great ones out there. I buy courses all the time. Mm-hmm. What, 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 what they've done is they simply got a customer list. So I ran a course out to freaking the country. I got a hundred people to buy my Facebook advertising course. Now I have proof of a hundred people buying it. Now I take that hundred people, put them in a custom audience, check the box, click the three dots, create a lookalike audience. Now I have a list, a lookalike audience. Now I have an audience, I should say. Now I have an audience of 700,000 people who resemble my 120. Now all I do is spend time and money targeting my lookalike. And that's <laughs> where all the money, and, and that's where all the sales come in, bro. Because now you're targeting freaking people that you would have never thought of that resembled your past customer. Bro, so so people don't do this, like, no, bro, like who that? No, dude, who's t- no, not at all, God. not at all. That's why, that's why, yeah, not at all, not at all. You gotta be, you gotta be up in it. You gotta be like learning. You gotta be learning from people, like, and it's not like, like uh, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but what I just threw at you sounded pretty damn good, right? I did. I, I, I know it was legit though. I ain't even gonna give my myself credit on that. I learned that shit. So yeah. you have to be all up in it to really want to learn, you know, certain shit, right? And so. And so, yeah, in the course, I learned, I learned how to create a lookalike audience like that. And I'm like, damn, dude, that was that one tip. And that, and that's in the, in the six week to success right here. That one is that, tip. Is, is that all I need to watch? Okay. Is this all I need to watch right here? Is this really what I should be watching? Really, yeah. Yeah. To tell you the truth, it, it's a six week to success. Watch each video, take note on each video oh. of, of the six, of the six weeks. And, 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 and you'll be a completely different person. Like you can literally, you can literally take that knowledge and start teaching people. Man, that's just crazy. what you learn in the damn six weeks alone. Like just what you learn in the in the in the six weeks alone. You know, so 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 go ahead and share your screen and, and let me just help you set it up. Let me help you set up the business manager, and then we'll get to the Facebook page and naming it and all that shit. But that's um, cool. go ahead and share your screen. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're we're going to um, and and are you on? Are you on an? Yeah, you're on an Apple. You're on a Mac, huh? <laughs> Um, so let's create a bookmark. Let's create a folder. So right at the top bookmarks, before we even, even, even set anything up, let's, let's set up a folder. Okay. So here's what I want you to name it. Um, FB business manager, FB business manager. And, and in the folder, I want you to change out that folder. It's not going to go in bookmarks. It's going to actually, that's the name of the folder. And, and yeah, actually, yeah, it's going to go in the bookmark bar. Yeah. Click done. Okay, cool. We're good. So now we have, now we have a, a, a folder, which is FB business manager. And what we're going to do is we're going to, is, is I'm going to teach you today from all this shit, bro, Facebook ads, this whole platform, Instagram ads, all these damn things we can click on in here. At the end of the day, there's only seven things you'll ever click on when it comes to running Facebook ads and Instagram ads. There's only seven buttons you'll ever click on in here. And, 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 I'm, and we're going to bookmark those buttons. So I'm going to save you a ton of time on trying to have to, on having to try to navigate this shit when there's only seven things I'm ever going to click on. Right. So, so let's start with, um, let's start with the three lines. Let's go to the business settings. So right there in the, in the top business. Yeah. Click on that and then go to business settings. Um, right over here you'll have, yeah, see, so you don't even have a business account. I mean, you don't even have a business manager set up, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to create it. But again, that's where everyone drops the ball. No one has their business manager set up. And then at the end of the t- at the end of the day, they're complaining on how their ads didn't work, right? Because you didn't you didn't track any of this shit. So go ahead and create an account. Okay, cool. So right here, perfect. So so um, I would I would go ahead and 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 let 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 let's think of a name. Like what's our what's our business name? Like what do we want to roll out? What do we want to rock with? Like what's oh. a what what have you been what 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 product do you like stands out to you or like what like what okay so so so. I, and I think he touches on this in the course as well, but this is just this is just general, and this is just what I already know to be a fact. Okay. When it comes to online marketing, when it comes to online sales, when it comes to dominating a certain niche within within the internet, All right. there's only three three niches that make the most money. There's three niches that make you make the most riches, and and this is just this is just a fact. It's money. So if I'm going to create a product or if I'm going to teach a service or if I'm going to sell a course, the financial niche is big, right? Everyone needs to learn how to make money. Everyone wants to wants to make money. Everyone's always trying to make more money. Everyone's looking for a side hustle. That's why YouTube is full of, of, of how to make more money, affiliate marketing, all this shit online because that's a niche, 
-hmm. People always need to make more money, right? Financial, financial, the financial niche. That's one niche. A second niche, and these are the top three powerful, most wealthiest niches in, 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 in the economy. Number one was finances, money, make money. Number two, the biggest niche is relationships, love and relationships. So, so, so when you go to the, when you go to the grocery store and you're, you're out there at the grocery store and you're about to just check out and, and you're looking at right before you check out, you're putting your groceries on the, on the, on the little freaking belt or whatever. And you're in the grocery line, you're about to check out what's normally right there next to you. You got candies, you got all the candy bar. You might got, you might got a little, little ice chest of, of, of soda, but then you got all these magazines, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. All these magazines, bro. What are they? Freaking so and so, gossip, yeah. love. This love. celebrity broke up with that celebrity. Mm -hmm. It's relationships. Yeah, people always want to gossip about someone's relationship, especially when it comes to entertainment and celebrity. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole niche. A whole niche is love and relationships. When you're when you're marketing a product and you're teaching men how to get more chicks. When you're freaking. When you're when you're when you're just. It's that whole love and re relationship is what I'm trying to say. That's a whole niche. The third niche, and that's what that's what a lot of the products on ClickBank consist of as well. So yeah, so these three niches are all on ClickBank. The mm -hmm. third, the third most powerful niche is is um is health, health and wellness. So so if you notice, like if like I know you're not sharing your screen, but I'll go back to mine real quick. If you notice in the products, the ones that he's referring, the ones that he's he's um recommending, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four out of the seven that he's recommending are in the health and wellness space. Mm -hmm. Four out of the seven. Okay. So that's the third more, most powerful niche is health and well. Health, health and wellness, excuse me, health and wellness. And mm -hmm. that's why the supplement industry is so big. Protein, vitamins, nutrition, freaking exercise. That's a whole freaking niche, bro. Where 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 billions of dollars are are are, are made every day, is oh, yeah. that. So so it's really picky. It's really you. It's really up to you. What what do you resonate with more financial and 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 the money side of everything, or 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 love and relationships, or health and wealth, health health and wellness. Excuse me, health and wellness. It's in all, all of them, because I'm you know I've I've dealt with all of them, mm -hmm. you know, and I I know how lucrative they are, especially. Like the supplements, you know, everybody everybody's looking for right. a shortcut. And yes, bro. Everyone needs to lose weight, all that shit, bro. Like yeah. that's health and wellness. That's so all. I know. I know. If, I know. With anything, like you're saying, it's just in addition to the back end tracking is your, uh, you know, your ad copy, your images, mm -hmm. your images, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how persuasive they are, and mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, is kind of big too. So if you have that, then being in the niche, you'll just kind of tap in, tap in, really. Yeah, man. So, so, and you can always change this. So hit create an account. You can always change this name. You can always freaking edit this. So, so what's something general? Cause he had, uh, he has something like the daily Apple. So something like that is really cool. You know, like, a like an information source where, you know, you can put, put out multiple subjects and it is, it's like, well, a we'll create different accounts for again, niches. So just think, think these three niches. Okay. Okay. So pick a name in one of the niches. Um, Pick a name in one of the niches. So and let's. You can always change this. You can always change this. Okay. Okay. So let's let's just try uh, uh, health. Let's do health. Okay. Perfect. So so put anything there, bro. Jason's health. Jason's health guide or anything. Just freaking put anything. Um. Uh, how about the health corner? <laughs> Perfect. I love it. I love it. The health corner. The health corner. Perfect. And then go ahead and put your email down there at the, at the bottom, and then we got to confirm that email. So does this have to be a um, business email or just just a? a it'll mailing? eventually be. It'll eventually be a business email. For now, you could put that, but um, yeah, we'll end up changing that email out. So that's cool. That's good. That's cool. That's perfect. All right. So go ahead and submit that, and then check your email. Perfect. So now that we confirm the email, we're freaking good. Now it's game time. So here. You always want to make sure that your name is right there, Jason G. Ruiz. So you're, Ruiz, Ruiz. So you're right there. So you're good. Now click on pages. So right here on the left, we're gonna and all we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way down on the left hand side. So pages. So go ahead and create the page right here. So click on add, and we're gonna create a new page. We're gonna create a new page. And and the health corner. I freaking love that man. That's actually a really good name. 
go with um go with go with go with brand or product brand or product okay perfect and then and then go ahead and yeah go ahead and give it the name the health corner man bro did you just think of that on the fly i did bro i really like that dude that's fucking that's crazy so choose yeah. a category go 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 health and wellness if it's somewhere down there health, health and beauty perfect health beauty that's perfect and then create page we're going to make this our first bookmark. So so hit the star in the top right. We're going to bookmark this. And let's just name it business settings. Business settings and change the folder. It's not in the bookmark bar. It's in the it's in the FB business manager. So see if you can choose another folder. Yeah, down, choose another folder. You should see it. Um, where did your other bookmarks? Where did your... Um, I made a folder, right? Yeah, I thought you did. I did or, make a folder. Right? Or maybe you just bookmarked it. But I, I thought you... <laughs> oh, my God. So as we view the page, it'll be a brand new page. And now this page is, is connected to the new. Damn, son. Yeah, bro. We ain't playing. Yeah. So 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 go ahead and like it. Be the first one to like it. Click on like. And then and then what you want to do here for sure is is um is fill out everything. So so click on more right there. Um, The drop down more in the middle to the right. left. No, to the left right there, the word more and come down to um about. Where's your about? Oh, you don't have an about. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. It's below the profile picture about. Normally it's in the more, but right there, you got it right there below, 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 about. Oh, okay, about. Okay, so right here, we're going to want to fill out um, where, okay, go ahead and scroll down. Can you edit anything? It, did you confirm the email? I did. You did, okay, so you should be good. So um, normally there's a bunch of a bunch of stuff to fill out right here. Um, go ahead and click on, click on the three dots to the right. So you must be in, I think you're in, you might be, yeah, no, you're in switch. Yeah, actually that's, that's what it is. So click the blue button, switch to the bottom left. Yeah. So you're in, you're in a different view, but yeah, click on that. There we go. Now we're good. Okay. So now click on that one. See right now you're viewing it from like the, the visitor view. So now, now oh, okay. click on no, not now. We're good right now. Now, now we can. Now we're now we're in it as the admin view. So now we can change everything. So go ahead and click on about again, right there below the profile picture. Now we can update everything. Oh. So um, what we're gonna eventually want to do is um, why don't we go ahead and click on click on um, let's see if it's if it's under the word manage to the to the top right manage. I want to go back to the original classic view real quick. Um. Yeah, it's not that. Hit hit the back button. Just go back the arrow, the the um, and then click on click on the three dots. Let's see if it's in the three dots. Um, where did it go, Paige? Because I want to go back to um to the classic view. Yeah, so email, and then maybe just add some hours. So just filling in as much information here as possible is 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 important. It makes the page more legit. Uh, with, definitely. Is always is always yeah, open. always open. That's fine. As Always open and then make sure it's public. Yeah, go ahead and save that. And then we'll eventually set up all your social media links. We'll set up your, your website, your dot com, mm -hmm. and then we'll we'll be able to add that. Um, and you're good for now. So scroll down. What else? What else do we got lowered? So okay, cool. So we're good. So now, now what you can do is you can just go ahead and, and, and bookmark this page. Bookmark this one, and we'll have eight bookmarks at the end of all this. So go ahead and just name it, take away the number one, and just leave it the health corner um Facebook page or whatever. Yeah, let's just clean it up, take away that one, and then um the health corner Facebook page. And and you'll just have it in this in this folder. Okay, we're good. So now, now let's just let's go back to the bookmarks and let's go back to the business settings. Actually, not right there. Just go to the folder, the bookmark um folder. So so get out of there, click on done. And then just go back to um go to bookmarks right at the top of the, of your screen, bookmarks in the yeah. middle. No, in the middle to the top. At the very, very top, you have bookmarks at the very, very top of your screen. So at the very, very top, bro, you got your bookmarks to the left. You got Chrome, File, no, to the left. File, Edit, View, History, Bookmarks, very, very top, bro. Yeah, right there, bookmarks. So now you got your, see, you did bookmark it, but you, you didn't create a folder. So that first one, so come down, come down. The FB Business Manager down, right, no, not that one, the one on top of it. Right click and just delete that one. We don't need that one. Or, or maybe just unstart or whatever. We just need that second one down. So, so no, 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 don't start. Just go back and just delete that one. Delete that one right there. Delete that one. Okay, cool. So go back to the folder. 
uh, yeah, I, normally it's right click and delete, but I don't know. I don't know about a Mac. I got I'm still on PC. No, that's why I'm. I'm not. This is my my wife's actually. I'm a PC guy, so that's why. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> just go to the just go to the folder. That's fine. Go to the folder and then go back to business settings. So we got business settings. We got the Facebook page, um, and now we're gonna just keep going down on the left hand side. So now we're gonna go ad accounts. So the ad account is where the credit card is tied to, right? Uh -huh. uh, 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 when you're running your ads. So so you've you've boosted those posts in the past. You, they were the, all the blue dots. You did all those in the past. Those were all tied to a certain credit card. Now over here, now that we have a new account, which is the health corner. Now this is going to be a different credit card. It could be the same credit card for sure, but it's a different account. It's a different account. So I'll go ahead and click the blue one and let's just create new account. So the very bottom, create new account. And then here's what I would do. Okay. We're going to name everything the same. This is the health corner. Okay. We're going to name the business manager the same. We're going to name the ad account the same. We're going to name the pixel the same. Everything evolves around the health corner. That's the name. So um, yeah, you can click next. That's fine. And then my business, the health corner, and then can, and then create. Okay, cool. So over here, it's going to simply just um, have you check your circle. So click the dot or the circle right there in the top left, Jason G. Yeah, click on that one. And then full control, manage ad account. Perfect, assign. Okay, cool. So now you click assign. Now it'll take you to the actual ad payment info. And just, um, yeah, click on ad payment info. And then you can add this now or you can add it later, but but it's up to you. Just whatever card. We're not gonna. We, we're far from running ads, so we're not gonna run anything right now. But, but right. here, just putting a card on file for now. You you can do that now, or you can do it later. It's up to you. Uh, yes. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bookmark this page. So hit the star. This is your ad account. So take away business settings. It stays in that folder, but the name is ad account. Ad account. So in the future, bro, like I got your back from this point on any Facebook ad side, the commission hero side for sure. Like I'm going to be a freaking call away, a text away, a freaking zoom away. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I got this shit on lock, but oh, yeah. every now and then, bro, like I'm stuck on something every now, when it comes to the Facebook ad side, every now and then something will come up and, and I'm like, shit, bro, you're going to have to reach out to Facebook. I don't know what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. Whenever you need to reach out to Facebook, the first question they have is what is the ad account ID number? And that's it right there at the top, 642114. So this is a bookmark. That's the important, an important number when it comes to your account. Um, without them knowing what the account, what the ad account ID number is, they can't help you. Okay. Right. So, so, and normally whenever you have to reach out to Facebook, it's, it's normally because, and because, because, because you got charged for a random ad. Normally right. it's, for, it's for something like that. It's not because freaking your pixel didn't work or, or any other random shit. It's always because I got hacked or my card got charged and wasn't supposed to or something random like that when it comes to billing. That's pretty much the only reason why you'll ever reach out to Facebook. And that's that's the important number that they'll, they'll, they'll need to know. Okay. okay, so that's that's an important bookmark. Okay, so now left-hand side, we'll keep going down. So Instagram account, um, what I'd probably do is I'd probably, I'd probably create a whole new Instagram account. Right. Um, around the health corner. So click on Instagram account, and then um, and then go ahead and click on add. Let's just let's just add on right now. Okay. Connect it. Uh, yeah, connect to Instagram, and then what we can do is we can we can just see if we can create a new one. So um, yeah, don't have an account. Sign up. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's just let's just create a whole new one, and and you have you have IG already, right? Like I I would assume you have an IG already. Uh, I do. Okay, so so whatever email is a tie, is tied to that one, uh, here use a different one. Do you have a different one? Okay. Uh, yeah, I do. Let's use. Uh... Okay, so we'll do that part later. So now data sources, data sources to the left. We're gonna just keep going down. So now we're gonna set up our pixel, and we're not gonna install it just because we have we don't have a website to to our landing page to put it on just yet. So we can't fully activate the pixel, but we can somewhat set it up, and that's what we'll do here. So click on add. And this is the new pixel. So go ahead and take away the apostrophe S, take away the, the, the word pixel. Everything is the health corner. That's it. Um, and then continue. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go set up the pixel now. We'll just go through the actual process. Manually add pixel code. Click on that one, the middle one. Okay. And then click. Go ahead and just click. Perfect. Now you copy. So now scroll down to number two and turn this on. Turn, yeah, turn it on. Scroll down a little further. 
make sure all that's on. So turn off again and turn back on. Turn back on. Okay, so now they're all blue. So now hit continue. Okay, cool. So now um, go ahead and use Facebook. Actually, no, you can you can hit cancel. That's fine. So we don't we don't need uh, that part. So hit cancel. So now here's what what I want you to do is uh -huh. is go ahead and just go to your email and just email it to yourself. Email it to yourself. Compose. Email it to yourself. And the subject line is the health corner pixel, the health corner pixel, and then just um and just paste it in the health corner pixel. Yeah, and just paste it. So that way you have a copy of your pixel. You're gonna the pixel page is gonna be a bookmark. So you're gonna always be able to go back to your bookmarks and, and find your pixel right away. But uh -huh. having a backup copy here is is cool too. That's the Facebook pixel. That's what we're gonna eventually put on landing pages. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um so that's that. You'll have you'll have your pixel there. And so now you gotta always add people, you gotta always add yourself. What we're doing here is we're setting up different what Facebook calls assets. Okay. The pixel is an asset. The ad account is an asset. The page is an asset. The Instagram account is an asset. Everything is on the left-hand side. They're all different assets. Mm -hmm. So because Jason is the personal profile behind all this, mm -hmm. Jason is the one tied to all this, right? Okay. So, so you always got to make sure you're, you're connected to the, to the asset. So add people, you'll see your name right there, manage pixel full control, and then assign. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then right now the, um, the red dot is red. The dot is red. And then when you when you actually install it on a web page or a landing page, then it then it'll become active and it'll be green. Oh nice. So, so right now we're good. So we have it set up and, and we're ready to go. But this won't be a bookmark. We're gonna bookmark it from another section. But right. this is this is where um your your this is where your pixel is set up at. Okay, so now and then also also here's another thing to, to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Um when it comes to websites, just Every website, every website in general. It doesn't matter if it's a Shopify, if it's a um, if it's a landing page, ClickFunnels, Kartra, whatever. Like any website online, mm -hmm. there's only two forms of a pixel that they ask for. There's only two forms of a pixel. One is that code that you just emailed yourself. That's the full pixel code. Mm -hmm. Some websites ask for and require the full pixel code, which is what you emailed yourself. Okay. Some websites, like a Shopify, for example, so if you want to start selling necklaces or shoes or freaking hats or whatever online and you go get a Shopify store, mm -hmm. Shopify only asks for the number, your pixel ID number. So you don't need the full pixel code that you just emailed yourself. All you need to give them and install on the website is the pixel ID, and that's it at the top. So if you ever come across a website that you're going to set up and you want to use this account, this, this Health Corner one, all you got to do is copy that number, the 4893 or whatever, and and, and it'll call for that. Oh. So those are the only two ways that, that websites require your or ask for your pixel, either the number or the full-blown code. All right. That's the number. Okay, so you're good here. Jason's tied to the pixel. We're good there. Now we'll just keep going on the left-hand side, and we'll go down to um, – we'll, we'll go down to brand safety. Come down to brand safety, and this is where you actually – integrate your domain with Facebook. You tell Facebook, hey man, here's the domain I'm going to be running ads to track this domain. And so that's what we'll eventually want to do. And just for the hell of it, open up another tab, go to GoDaddy and just see if the health corner is even available, bro. I was just thinking that. I was like, please, Lord. That domain, that sounds too damn good. I don't even, <laughs> I don't should want to burst your bubble. Should it be one, should it be one word, huh? When the health all one word, thehealthcorner.com. Chances are, bro, that's taken, but um, you can see. get the .net, you can get the .co, scroll down, scroll down, you got, you got the .net, you got, you got life, you got art, club, quest, info, the health corner .info. Like oh, so .net is good, so yeah, I can do .net. Yeah, do .net, do .net. You can get Ooh, it. nice. You can get it now, you can get it later, it's up to you. Look at this one, ooh, myhealthcorner.com. Yeah, too much, yeah man. Yeah, so... So that's available right now. So eventually we'll want to get the domain and then just integrate it with Facebook. And the reason why you don't need domain protection is because once you integrate the domain on an actual website, the landing page, mm -hmm. ClickFunnels is what Robbie recommends in the course, super popular landing page software, ClickFunnels, hundred bucks a month. So we got, you'll, you'll eventually want to start at least before you even run ads, before you even try to get, before you even trying to get a, before you even try to put together a budget for advertising, make sure, and this is the advice I always give everybody, 
make sure that there's a budget there for at least your landing pages. Cause even the landing pages alone ain't really cheap. It's a hundred bucks a month. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but everybody, everybody needs it. Like every, every, anyone who's doing anything on, on social media, building a business, it's landing pages. Like we know, would you recommend, um, Kartra though, as like an all-in-one really, or just as, or to tell you the truth, not, not for, not really for this. And, and the only reason why is because with click funnels, Click funnels is what he recommends, and 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 it's because everybody recommends click funnels. But click funnels, the only reason why I'm not like a major major user of it, because, and the reason why I use Kartra is because I'm in the business of appointments. So 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 I need an online calendar, I need an email autoresponder, I have an online course, so I need a software to host my course. I got 50 videos where I'm teaching Facebook ads. It's a freaking course. So I use Kartra to host my course. So with Kartra for the same hundred bucks a month, I get all this other shit mm. with click funnels. It's a hundred bucks a month just for the landing pages. Mm. But, 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 but what's so freaking gangster, the way he teaches is he teaches where there is no email automation. There is no online calendar needed. We're running ads straight for a cell and that's it. We ain't emailing them. We ain't scheduling appointments with them. We ain't doing shit. We're just running an ad to a page ca- and, 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 and taking that click straight to a ClickBank offer. That's it. There's no freaking follow-up. There's no email collection. There's none of that shit. Mm. So, so click, click funnels is just the pages. And, and I, and, and I, I, I think it's the best for, for affiliate marketing when you're not, when you're not collecting emails or, or care to collect emails or when you're not hosting a course and you don't have a crazy online course to sell sell to people mm. then then click funnels serves a purpose it, it serves its purpose it serves its purpose so so right here when you're getting the domain the reason why you don't need domain protection is because once you integrate the domain with click funnels for example with karcher or with many of the different landing page softwares they they have the protection so i don't need to pay go go daddy here when click funnels is already going to protect me with that domain yeah i'm good yeah. So, so right there. So, so um, actually, no, go back though real quick. Cause I don't, I don't know if you, if you clicked no on the email, go down. So the email is central. Yeah. No, thanks. Okay, cool. So continue to cart and then we'll just check out. So that was a good pickup. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on use my domain. So we want to go to the DNS settings, um, which I'll show you where they're at. So um, go ahead and actually, this is just asking you to connect to, to, fo- to connect it somewhere. So we don't want this just hit back real quick. And let's just see if we can go to, um, yeah, right. It might be right here. What we're going to do is we're going to click on DNS. So right there, we're going to the DNS. We need to get to the DNS settings. So right here, click on DNS, and this is where we want to be. Okay, cool. So now go back to Facebook. We're going to simply get a piece of code um, from Facebook right here. So go to an add, click on add, and then create a new, a new domain, and then just type in the domain right here. Do I need a www? No, just the domain. Perfect. And then click on add. And then here we're going to get a set of instructions on um, what to add to GoDaddy. So this drop down right here at the top, add a meta tag to your HTML. Click on that drop down. Where? No, the um to the right, that drop down, add a meta tag down. Right there, the drop down, add a meta tag. Yeah, click on that one. Come down to the third one down, DNS TXT. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to follow instruction number two. Okay. So follow the instructions to add this text record to your D- to your DNS configuration. Click right there. Go ahead and click. Perfect. Now we're going to take that to GoDaddy, and um, we're going to create a text file, a TXT file. So click on that black that black add button, and then right here, type. You're going to hit the drop down and go down, go go up to TXT. The name is going to be the at symbol. So just shift to the at sign and then the value paste in that link. No, no, not right there. That's the name. So to the value to the right. So take away that. That's the at sign. Oh, just an at sign by itself. Yeah. And then to the right, you got value paste it in right there and then click on add record. Okay, cool. So once we add record, this should be a success here. Close out GoDaddy. We don't need GoDaddy anymore. All right. So now what we're going to do is, um, is let's go back to the business settings. So, and you can close out that one. We don't need that, that one. Yeah. We're just going to work out of here. So right here, this might take a few minutes. It might take a few clicks, but go ahead and just try to verify the domain, the green button, verify. Come on, baby. Let's go. Damn. That happened quick and you just purchased it. So that was good. 
that was good. So now what we want to do is we want to we want to connect, and all we're doing here is connecting the dots. We're we're just lining everything up. Yeah. So now the domain we want to connect it to. Um, we 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 want to connect it to either either the ad account or the pixel. So click on add assets right there in the middle. Add assets. Yeah. And then um, down here you're gonna see. Yep, there's the page. So go, go ahead and click on that circle right there, and then add. And then, um, and then click on done and then do it again, add assets and then click on classic pages to the left, classic pages. Okay, cool. We're good. Cancel. We're good. Okay. So now the domain is connected to the business page. So we're telling Facebook here that not only are we running ads to this domain, but this domain is connected to this Facebook page. That's what we just did there. So we're good there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to simply scroll down on the left-hand side. We're going to keep going down on the left. And we're going to go to now business info. This is super important. This, this is one reason why accounts get um, shut down and, and blocked and banned and rejected ads and all that stuff, because this was never set up. Okay. So now we're going to fill out all this information. Let's start with, at the top. Let's click on edit. And then the primary page, go ahead and type in your new business page. We're telling Facebook that the business manager is tied to this new business page. All right, this one right here. Yep. Click on and then click on save. Okay, so now we're going to, the business details right below, we're going to fill in all that information except for the tax ID. We don't need the tax ID. Um, the legal name of business, go ahead and put the health corner. That's fine. And then this is all internal. So no one sees this part but Facebook and, and you. So put your actual correct information. Yeah, go ahead and throw that in there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. Save, and then we'll scroll down. And then what we want to do also right here is set up the two-factor authentication. This is super important. So go ahead and click on that drop down. Go to everyone. Come down to everyone. This is super super important. And then um, and then scroll down. And we're gonna simply my info right here. Scroll down. Keep going a little further. That's it. Actually, no, the email's already been verified. Okay, cool. So we're good. We're good. We're good. Business info, we're good. So those are really all the bookmarks that we need in the business settings. Now let's let's go to the um to the three lines at the top, those three lines, and let's go to ads manager. And so now as we come to the ads manager, now we have a whole new ad account. We have a whole new ad manager account. So click on no right at the top. You still have the old account. So click on the drop down at the top, the health corner. You still see more ad accounts. You still have that old account. So you ran everything prior under your name in your ad manager, which is which was boosting a post in your ad manager. By default, as long as you have a personal profile, everyone has an ads manager. That's where everyone's boosting posts and all that shit. That's all at that bottom account. So go ahead and click on that bottom account. This is where you'll see every prior ad, right? All the ones that you had before. That's where everything's at. So those ain't going nowhere. Those will be in that ad, that ad account, that ad manager account. But from this point on, we're running ads out of the other account. So hit the drop down, go back to that other one, and then um, this is where every ad is going to be ran ran for this for this campaign. So bookmark this page, bookmark this page. This is Ads Manager, Ads Manager. That's it. Just Ads Manager. It's in that folder, um, and we're good right here. So we'll click on Done, and then now we'll click on the three lines again. Let's go to three lines, and let's go to let's go to Billing, Billing. So Billing. Obviously, super important. If you ever need to change out that credit card, click on payment settings right in the top right, payment settings. So if you ever need to change um, the, the billing, you can always change it here. If you need to know where where your, your balance is at throughout the month, you can you can check it here. So bookmark this page. This is billing. Okay. Um and then and then um and then in the very, very beginning of a of a brand new ad account, that's what this is, is a brand new ad account. You have a threshold. So right now your threshold's two bucks. So every every two dollars, you're gonna get a charge. So Facebook will will send you a receipt, two dollars, two dollars, two dollars. And they do that in the very beginning of a, of a of a new ad account. You might get billed like five, six, seven times on little increments, on little amounts. And I think Facebook does that just to just to make sure your credit card is freaking going through and making sure that you're a legit freaking advertiser. That's what I really, really think. I don't know why they do it that way, but 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 they do it. They want to hit that credit card a few times before Makes sense to do it that way. <laughs> yeah, before, before they allow you to spend more on the platform. Um, so once once they do swipe, hit that card a few times, then they increase your threshold, and and I think they they increase it to like twenty five bucks, and then seventy five bucks, and then after that, after you, your card's been hit a, several times at these different dollar amounts, then you're billed once a month. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so so um, this is an important page, obviously. And so at the very, very bottom, business info, go ahead and click on edit. And let's make sure this is all filled out as well. This is super important. Um, let's fill out all this business name, everything you did on the business settings. So so yeah, the health corner and then same address, all that stuff right below. Awesome. That's good. So now we're good there on, on the building site. So now let's click the three lines and let's go to, um, let's go to, we'll go to audiences. Audiences are what it's all about. That's, that's what I was trying to explain in the very beginning with lookalike audiences and, and tracking the data and tracking those who purchased and all that shit. That's all done through custom audiences. So um, we don't have a website yet to create the audiences around. Cause that's what you really create audiences around as a website is different landing pages. Um, but we can still, we could still set it up. So click on create a custom audience and we'll just, we'll set up an audience right now around, around the Facebook page. Since we have the Facebook page now, so click on Facebook page and then we'll just simply click next and we'll, and there's a few different options and we'll go with, so the events, yeah, actually get it out of that one, out of that page, come down to the new one. That's the new one there. And then the events, it's going to be the fourth one down. So click on that drop down. people who engaged with any post or ad. So if you've if you if you click like comment shared on any of my posts or ad, you're in this audience. I can turn around and show you another ad. Mm. Right, that's what this is. So the retention, bring the retention down, to 365. Bring that down to 30 days. If you clicked on any of my ads or or post or anything like that within the past 30 days, you're in this audience. So the audience name, go to go to name it the same. People who engaged with any post or ad. And again, man, this is what 99% of social media advertising is all about, is the custom audiences. It's the same with YouTube. It's the same with Twitter, every platform. This is what it's all about. This is the reason why they're successful advertisers, because they know how to track all the engagement from previous ads, and all they're doing is retargeting you with future ads. Hit create audience, and we're good. So now this page will open up, and we'll bookmark it from here. So go ahead and hit the star. And this is custom audiences. Oh, so wow. bookmark this page, custom audiences. And we get there, we'll go back to the to the all tools. And now we're going to come to events manager. So we have two more bookmarks. Events manager. So in the events manager, this is where you'll find your pixel in the future once we do connect it. Um, and see, so connect data, go ahead, go ahead and click on that. Yeah, see the pixel's not on anything just yet. Let's let's actually X out of this. And then on the drop down, yeah, you cancel the drop down in the top right, the health corner. Click on that drop down and come to the top one, the health corner. Yeah, go to that yeah. one. Yeah, that one right there. Okay, so so this is where we want to be. Perfect. So now the blue, that blue clock looking thing to the left, um, hover over that blue, blue circle thing. Yeah, overview and come down to data sources. Data sources is where you'll find your pixel. So, so once we actually install the pixel on a page, then it'll become active and this page will actually open up. Mm. So for right now, go ahead and just bookmark this page. Hit the star. This is pixel. Okay, this is where we'll get our pixel. P-I-E-L. Pixel. Okay, done. Okay, good. So now, now we'll click on, we'll hover over the blue triangle and we'll go to custom conversions. This is another super, super important um, page that that um, that we need to set up once we have our pages. And okay. so once we have our landing pages, whether it's click funnels or whatever, then we'll be able to we'll be able to create this, we'll be able to complete the custom conversion. So go to bookmark this and this is custom conversion. And now let's see what we have in our folder. That should be it. Um, bookmark folder. We got um, what do we got? We should have eight, I believe, in there. So if you hover down to the folder at the very, very bottom, the, yeah, hover over that. We got business settings, the Facebook page, the ad account, the ads manager, building custom audiences, pixel, and custom conversion. That's it, bro. Damn. That's, it. That's it. Crazy. So when it comes to scaling Facebook ads and Instagram ads, those are pretty much the only eight buttons you'll ever freaking need to know from this point on. And so as you move forward with your advertising, all you're doing is setting up custom conversions around your thank you pages. You're putting the pixel on pages. You're creating custom audiences around people who are landing on pages. You're billing. You're knowing what credit cards on file. You're running ads to the ads manager. You're running it from that ad account. You're running it from that Facebook page. And then you have access to your business settings should you need, need anything in there. But that's it. 
Um, and watch, go to click on business settings. Only time you'll go to business settings is when you add a domain or when you need to take away a domain because um, that's what's over here on brand safety to the left, brand safety. So if I ever need to add another domain, I can just add it here, click on domains. I could just add it here. If I need to update my email with, with my business manager, I can just scroll down the bottom left, click on business info, and I can change out the email. If I if I got a different address, I can change out the address. Um, if I do set up an Instagram account, I can connect it here through Instagram account. So, but that's about it. Like all this other shit you, you, you don't really need. Um, if I do create a new business page and I want to tie it to this business manager, right? Because we can have different business pages and, and it can all be stemmed back to this business manager. Then I can just go to pages, create a new page. So everything is here in the business settings. Um, but really it's just those other bookmarks that you'll really kind of spend majority of your time in. Mm. And that's it, man. That's the Facebook business manager setup 2022 and beyond, bro. That's crazy, but it's all good. I'm all good though, right? I'm all good, <laughs> <laughs> all good man.